Hey friends, um, we're here today to do the wrap up of my um, uh, February fun times with ink and fun might be an overrated word. We're on the floor today, I apologize, but my window looks like that. So I don't have my usual setup <laughs> to be out of the way. Uh, ETA on actually having a, a real window, maybe tomorrow. Um, so anyway, for the last week, I was looking at um, Nitrogen by Organics Studio in my same five pens with extra fine, fine, medium, broad, and 1.1 stub. Um, we want to do an overview of all of them. once here they are maybe you can read what I've written I uh, the fine pen had been feeling a bit rough you can see that I wrote it feels smoother with this ink so compared to the, the previous one you can also see that the fine and the extra fine maybe you can see that they look up to be about the same size um, the broad you actually see more of the base color, which I like, but I think you can see the sheen there. So this is in a Hobonichi Weeks, which is the old Tomoe River paper. Um, we can look in here. So I did some writings from Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. This is from Letter from Birmingham Jail or Letter from a Birmingham City Jail. There's a few different things that it's called. So this is the extra fine. And this is on um, Midori MD cotton paper. They're not their regular, they're cotton. Um, here's the fine. The medium. This was the least finicky pen for me to write with this medium because the extra fine is too fine the fine is just that little bit scratchy the broad still has peaching that's what I'm gonna call it baby's bottom um oh and for the last two days instead of Dr. Martin Luther King I wrote out the lyrics to a very obvious love song You can go ahead and look up what these lyrics mean and then decide for yourself if it's about love. So this is the broad. Not uh, too many hard starts with this, but in general I find that the more lubricated an ink is, the, the fewer problems I tend to have even with a nib with baby's bottom. Here is that 1.1 stub. I liked how this looked. For the record, I don't speak Spanish, but I'm learning this song. It's quite difficult. It's like a tongue twister, especially because I don't know the words. I don't really, I know what they mean, but I don't know what they mean, but I know what they mean. Anyway, it's harder to remember them because they're not quite words for me yet. They're more sounds. I'll get there. I have to like really absorb the words. Some of them that I know. 
quiero, I, you know, I know what that means. Quiero ver bailar tu pelo. I actually could, did know what that means. Uh, anyway, so, sorry, this isn't about Despacito. Or is it? Um, how did I like this week? Was it what I thought it would be? Well, y'all, I was not... Like, I picked an ink that I did not really think I would super enjoy, and I didn't. Um, let's see if you can see this. Let's see if we put this in the light. I see a slight blue color on these two fingers. My hands were clean. The only thing I've done is touch this paper. Yeah. So, hate that about it. Hate that about it. Um, yeah, still lifting the color. Don't love that. <laughs> so I have enjoyed this overall process, even when I didn't enjoy the inks. I really liked getting to know them better. Um, if I look back... Over the four weeks that we did this, we did, I did, um, Earl Grey, the Purple Jade Rabbit, uh, Little Robinia, and Nitrogen. I am not surprised by this. My favorite was Earl Grey. It's, it's basic in the best meaning of the word. It doesn't give you any fuss at all. It just writes. And I think it's pretty. I like the shading. I like that it looks different on different papers because um, of the composition of it. Let me see. Here it is on the Tamora River. Actually, what's funny is on this, if I look at this, you can see how much drier the flow is on this fine compared to the others by just how light it looks. Um, that Twisby Medium Nib is like, ever, like that pen is basically perfect right now. I don't know if it's the feed is better, the nib is better. There's a part of me that thinks that maybe that's where Twisby nibs really shine. Like maybe at that, the size of their feet and the size of this nib is like a sweet spot. But also, admittedly, this fine nib is just, I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I got to do some more work. And the broad, I got to gotta polish some more. Well, not polish. You know what I mean, I think. I fix that peaching. <laughs> and as for the stuff I wrote, I actually liked that I, I experienced some things that I hadn't experienced before. Um, so have you ever done something like this? Have you ever taken one of your inks and put it in five different nib sizes and if so did you do you feel like you learned anything about it I did learn that for my lighter inks that Twisby medium is pretty great because it will lay down a consistent here is um here's an example it will lay down a consistent amount of ink so such that you can see it. And actually, this extra fine is doing a pretty good job with that little Robinia. But so here's that little Robinia in the medium. And it's it's legible in this pen. And somewhat less so in the stub. I mean, it's still legible. But and I would, I would, I require brighter light because my eyes are getting older. <laughs> Along with the rest of me. Um... At any rate, I feel like I'm going to have to do this uh, exercise again. I mean, maybe not going so far as to copy things out, but maybe I will because I actually really have enjoyed copying out song, song lyrics, and that is just, wow, do I know a lot of songs, so why not? Um, I hope you all haven't been getting sick with me holding the camera. <laughs> Woo, we're flying. 
Um, and I appreciate you hanging out with me while we talk about my ink experiments. Um, I was very glad to ink up some other pens. <laughs> Super glad to have this behind me. I'm going to go wash these all out today, I think. Um, so, say goodbye to nitrogen. <laughs> I may put all of this leftover ink in a sample vial, but I'm going to be honest. Y'all, I have a pretty big bottle of it. I may not. I may not. <laughs> We'll see how I feel. We'll see how sassy I'm feeling when I get to it. So, hey, focus. Thanks, camera. If you have any suggestions for other stuff like this that you'd like to see, if you have any, um, if you've seen any inks that I um, have, right, that you're like, wow, what does that look like on this pen? Let me know. Glad to do this again. And overall, you know, I'm curious what your thoughts were in general. Please feel free to leave a comment below. Boop, boop, boop. Um, as usual, I thank you all for spending time with me. I know you have choice in YouTube people that you can watch. And <laughs> I'm thankful you choose to spend with me. <laughs> okay, stop. You're just being silly now. I hope whenever you're watching this, you're having a wonderful day. Take care of yourselves. Bye.